Once you're on Thacker, and Imaginary is the newest Plonus horror film. Imaginary follows a woman with her new family that goes to live her old childhood home. She and her family discover that the imaginary friend she had as a child was real and is not particularly happy she left it. And this imaginary friend mainly takes the form of a teddy bear named Chauncey. So basically, a killer teddy bear horror movie. With a twist of being able to do literally whatever it wants. Because of imagination. So the potential for this film was out the wazoo. So now I'm using imaginary. It's bad. Like, really bad. This is a very neat concept that does Nothing. Honestly, that's this entire movie. A neat concept that does nothing. There are so many scenes in this movie that have a promising setup that just lead to a cheap jump scare or just only do anything. The characters in this movie are so unbelievably boring. I don't care for them in the slightest. So nothing in the film is compelling because I don't care about any of your characters. This movie is just so boring. And you guys know, my favorite kind of films are slow paced films. I spend a lot of time with character development. Some could say boring, but this movie is way too boring. There are like two, maybe three scenes tops that I think kind of work, but the rest of this film is just so bland and forgettable and boring. This movie is throwing every cliche can at the wall and nothing sticks. I guarantee by building this movie, you'll be able to fully guess what the rest of the story is going to be. There are a few twists, but nothing really work. But the worst thing is that in this film, there is a little side story. Doesn't have much relevance to the main plot, but it's still there. And if that was focused on, it would have been such a better film. It just could be a good emotional story. But no, instead we had to take some inspiration from other films like Labyrinth and Coraline. And I wouldn't be surprised to find out that Chauncey's name was inspired by Chucky. Although, give this on the benefit of the doubt, maybe it's not. And I will give credit where credit's due. The design of Big Monster Chauncey is really good. It's a practical effect, and it's honestly really solid. I just wish it was in a better film. There's also a spider imaginary friend. You guys probably know that I have a major acnophobia, so you guys are probably expecting me to say that part was pretty darn scary, but it really wasn't. We never get a good look at its design. For the most part, it's in the darkness. I don't think we ever get a full genuine shot of it in the light, so I don't even know how it looks. It maybe slightly resembles a spider, Maybe. And it's barely in the movies, so I didn't have time to get scared of it. There's also rumors of this film in reshoots, and I 100% believe that. This film does not flow very well. There are some scenes that were definitely cut out, and some scenes that were definitely added in. And I gotta say, towards the latter half of the film, we're supposed to be all serious, you're almost really invested, you laugh at how bad some stuff this movie is. Most of it is the line delivery. I'm not sure these are bad actors, I haven't seen them anything else but they're really bad in this movie. So I was laughing at this film, not in a way to where, oh, it's so bad, it's good. I was laughing at how bad it really just was. It's like those moments where you know you've been defeated, like if you have an argument or something, you know you can't win. So you just start laughing. That's what this was. So overall, Imaginary is really bad. It's been a long time since I've said this one of my reviews, but I do not recommend Imaginary. Bye guys for now. Bye, Mr. Alan Thacker.